Stop. Stop my alarm. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday morning here. Maybe it's Wednesday afternoon where you are, or who knows, maybe it's Wednesday night. I don't know, but happy day. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. I'm Robin. Behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. And we are, I think I already said, we're Raincross Farms Makery. We're coming to you just outside of Lewiston, Idaho. And we've got a fun craft, kind of sentimental to me. So I hope you enjoy it today. Uh, we want to thank you when you, hey, Judy. When you pop on, say hello. If you want to help us out, you can like or love our page, follow our page, and share our page out to your feed, to your friends, to any craft groups that you're a part of. That really helps us out. So thank you so much. And we also, maybe when you pop up, it may tell you something about what we are saying. Hold on. I'm going to get, I'm going to pop up this live on my so it may say something about um, stars. We are we are gratefully accepting any stars. Um, absolutely not required, but what we're using them for is to purchase a computer that can be dedicated and stay in our craft studio so we don't have to unplug everything and lug it upstairs and then have to reset all the settings. So that's what we would be using. Any stars that you so graciously donate, that's what they would be used for. So let's see. Welcome, Leanna. How is everyone? Well, the craft today is not completely original. I've seen other crafters do this, but it just really, I saw somebody do it and it really reminded me of my mother's, some of my mother's jewelry, like this cameo. So let me know in the comments if you're, if you're maybe, maybe some, some hearts, if your mother or a relative had cameo jewelry it's got the the little background and it's got the silhouette um anyway she had several of these pieces and a lot of them are behind glass in a, a little keepsake display but this is a necklace i have out and it, this craft reminded me of this look the the cameo look so we're going to do a little spring easter craft with Marguerite this in mind. Welcome, Wichita, Kansas. Awesome. Welcome, Marguerite. So we are going to use an egg shape. Now this one I got from Hobby Lobby and it's regularly $2.99 in their Easter section. But this one's a little small for me, but this, this would work just fine if this is what if this is what you have available. But then of course I went to probably my favorite store, the Dollar Tree, and I found these for a dollar. And so they're a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use one of these. Now I could, this is really just a sticker. I could peel this off, but I'm just going to turn it over. I'm just going to turn it over and work on the back. So we're going to start by painting this up. Now we're also going to use one of, one of these gorgeous transfers. This is the, the bunny cutouts. So there's two sets of bunnies. There's a standing up bunny and a, and a hunched over bunny. And they're meant to go um, reverse two-sided. So one side has florals and one side has words. And so we're going to put this on the bunny. And we're going to use some of our buffalo plaid. So it's going to be gorgeous. So I thought, I kind of like, I've seen a lot of cameos with a blue background, and I've also seen a lot with kind of a peachy background. So I'm going to use our chalk paste to actually paint this. And this is our new color, Sunset Drive. So our paste is um, chalk in paste form. So it's pretty thick. It's meant to use with our stencils but you can use it as paint. You just kind of thin it out and get it to paint consistency. So I'm just gonna scoop a little of this in my little jar here and I'm going to thin it, I'm gonna thin it down. Hey, Patty. Teresa's okay, here. Marguerite has, has, has one. Okay, I'm gonna thin it down with um, distilled water. 
That way, if I don't use it all and I have any extra, I can stick it back in my jar. And because I use distilled water, it won't become a science experiment in there because there, there won't be any bacteria or minerals or anything in there that might start growing little fuzzies. So I'm just kind of mixing that up till it's a thinner paint consistency. Now you could definitely just use chalk paint, but I, did, I actually didn't have any that's kind of this peachy color. So I decided I would use my chalk paste. So I'm gonna save that. Yeah, let me grab a brush. And I'm just going to start painting this. Now this may need two coats. We shall see. So, hey, Teresa, welcome. Yes, Judy, those bunnies are cute. We used to have, we used to have wooden cutouts that you, that those were designed for, but they were so popular, they sold out and the company decided to, was going to um, reorder more and they found out it was going to take too long and they wouldn't be here in time for Easter. So they just, they just don't have any more of the wooden cutouts, but there's a million things you can do with those transfers that don't use the wooden cutouts. Okay, now this is kind of thick, so I'm gonna just spray this to kind of thin this out. And I do think I'm gonna need two coats to get the coverage I want. Thank you, Judy. Yes, it it belonged to my mom. Um, she she loved she loved jewelry. Nothing fancy, nothing expensive. Um, and of course, I inherited it all. I'm the only daughter, so uh, we made a. She, she was known for wearing brooches. She she had a brooch for every every outfit she owned and then some and so we we made a little um, display case of all of not all of her a lot of her brooches that we that we used at her memorial and it was it was nice I liked it okay so you can see this is kind of streaky it's gonna need a second coat so we're gonna we're gonna get this coat on and we're going to dry it up and put a second coat on Hey, South Alabama. Hi, Anna. Welcome, Anna. Okay. So let me dry this. Because if I if I put a second coat on while it's wet, it's just gonna lump up. So are you getting ready for Easter? Tell me, are you getting ready for Easter? Do you decorate for Easter? Do you still do Easter baskets? For your kids. I used to do Easter basket. My well, my kids are now old, way old. I won't tell you how old they are because you'll think, no, there's no way she can have children that age. But I do. Okay, no grandchildren. But um, I used to give them Easter baskets, but somehow we kind of stopped that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put something together for them this year. Mail it off. More jewelry than body parts. Judy says she doesn't have a cameo. Well, you, you, when you come, when you, she's talking, the 25th, she's talking about, she's coming to a workshop that I'm hosting here in my home. You'll have to look on the wall at my mom's display case and we can compare notes about brooches that our mothers had. Marguerite says she decorates for all the holidays. Oh, do you? Good. I, I, cra 
craft for all the holidays. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of this. And and Judy says they're having an Easter basket giveaway in Julietta. Oh really? And um, Teresa says my oldest will be fifty in May. Marguerite says she has five children and fifteen grandkids. Oh my goodness! Do you do Easter baskets for all of them? Or do you let their parents do it for those grandkids? I think Hi, I, Cheryl. I would certainly be doing it for my grandkids if if I had any. But alas, I have grand doggies. My my mom never did East my mom gave gave the kids like a bag of candy or something. She never really got into the whole let's put it in a basket. But uh, my mother-in-law, Bill's mom, she had Easter baskets for all her grandkids. And she'd have egg hunts. We would generally always be at her house on Easter. She'd, she'd go all out for her grandkids. Cheryl has five kids and 14 grandkids. Patty says, I have a granddaughter that's still young enough to get an Easter basket and an egg hunt. I have a small tree and they're decorated for the holidays. Mm -hmm. And Judy says, hey, Cheryl. <laughs> and um, hi, Nancy from Minnesota. Do help with the younger ones. Yeah, hi, Nancy. So second coat is filling in, filling in nicely. If I had known this would take two coats, I probably would have pre-done a coat because you don't need to watch me paint this but you kind of do right you need to know what to expect when you're crafting oh hey um speaking of egg hunts uh judy i need to uh forward to you that our church is having an egg hunt on the saturday before easter that's off of gifford rubin so it's not too far from home I can't remember what the date is the Saturday before. It's the 16th. So the 16th, like 10 a.m. or 11 a.m., something 10, like that? 10 30. I don't know. We'll send her the details. Well, I'll get you the details, but you can put that out there. It's 10 30. It's free. And it's free. And a barbecue. And a barbecue. I get to run the grill. So remind me, Judy, to send you information about that. You can post it out there on Julietta Kendrick. Okay. There we go. I've got that covered. And he says, where are you going to hang that uh, pink egg you're working on now? I'm asking for a friend. I don't know. Maybe I will donate it as a giveaway for somebody who runs a community page. Okay. I'm going to seal that up and let's give this a dry and then we'll get to the really fun hey, stuff. Don Stevens from South Dakota. I don't think we have them, Don. North Dakota and South Dakota we don't have. I, I don't remember. I want to say it was uh, I want to say it was South Dakota. He might be our fifth or our forty eighth state. But we still don't have Alaska and we still don't have Hawaii. Yes we do. We had Hawaii. We had a Hawaii? And oh that's Hawaii. Right. I remember that. So it'd be a forty ninth state. We just don't have a last name. <laughs> you say Yahoo when Okay. So still a little wet. So what we're going to do is we are going to kind of turn this into a basket, kind of look like a basket. As soon as I get it dry. We are going to, along the bottom, we're going to chop some of our buffalo plaid. Now, this is a well-used, well-loved transfer. You can see how it's, how it's all stained, but I just love me some buffalo plaid. Well, that sure counts, Judy, but we actually did have somebody who was currently living in Hawaii. They didn't live there full-time. They, she, I think she was a snowbird, but I can't remember where where she came from. 
Okay. Now, I don't know if you know this trick. To tell whether your paint is dry, if it's still cool, it's wet, even though it might look dry. So this is cool. So I want to make sure this is really, really dry. What am I doing on time? Now later I can go back. If I was going to, if I was going to keep this, I would probably not do anything with this side. I'd probably just leave it. Or I might, I might scrounge that, that tin bunny off of there for another project. But if I was going to sell this or give it away, I would definitely paint over the back. So it would look a little more finished and not, not so much like it was fresh out of the Dollar Tree. How did you come up with your page name? Well, funny you ask. <laughs> we, um, we live all our lives until three years ago. We lived in Southern California in a city called Riverside. Both of us grew up there. We both grew up there, born and raised, until we got wise and moved out of California. Okay, I think that's dry. And, but our city, the, which was hometown for us forever, their um, symbol was a rain cross, which you can kind of see on our, on our screen, that little bell with the that. frame around it. That was our city's um, symbol, the rain cross, Indian rain cross. And so when we came up here, we thought, you know, we bought a little, a little farm-ish type place. <laughs> it's a farm. We have animals and we grow things. So it's a farm. It used to, yeah, it's a farm. <laughs> so we thought, well, let's name it. Let's be fun and name it. And so we thought, well, let's bring a little bit of our hometown heritage with us. And so we, we came up with Raincross Farms. So that's, that's where that came from. Okay, so since I painted this and it's fresh paint, I am going to wax it so that our sticky transfer doesn't pull up the paint when I pull up the transfer. So I'm taking some surface wax, which is just paste wax. And I am going to apply it all over this. Now, is that going to change the color of what you got? Slightly. It, it slightly, it, it gives it just a, a tiny bit of a sheen. And maybe darkens it a little bit, but not super noticeable. And so this wax will will form a protective layer over the paint so I can pull up my transfer easier. Okay. Now I don't want too much wax and I can feel right now it feels really waxy. That means I have too much still on there. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to buff as much of that wax off as I can. Okay, Marguerite wants to know where do you get the wax, and I'm going to suggest that you also tell them other alternatives to that wax. Okay, um, this wax I sell in my online shop. It's put. It's produced by Chalk Couture. I'm a, an independent designer for Chalk Couture, so I sell it in my online shop. Um, if you want to take a look at what I have in my shop, you can comment shop in the comments, and it, my bot will send you a link to it. But if you don't have this, and it's actually st in stock, it, it has been out of stock recently, but um, you could use like this kind of, this kind of paste wax from Home Depot, but this stuff stinks horribly. So this has no odor. Okay, and I'm going to... Hi, Tina. Where are you from? Oh, Tina. I've seen your name. You, you've you watched before. Yeah, I just wonder where she's yeah. from. We've got some new people today, so that's all Okay, right. so I've got this waxed and painted, and we are going to, we're going to use just a strip of this. So this is a big old transfer, so you can do a big area with it. But 
sometimes the big transfers are kind of unwieldy. So I, I cut a little strip off. And so I'm just going to use a strip. And this is still, even though I've used it a lot, this is still really sticky. And I'm concerned about my paint. I don't want to pull it off. I've waxed it, but I am going to fuzz this transfer. So I'm going to put just a little bit of lint on the sticky side. Okay, so these are self-adhesive reusable transfers. So you can use these many, many times. The company guarantees that you can use them 10 to 12 times, but you can actually, you can actually get more use out of them if you uh, take really good care of them. And hopefully I'll have enough time to show you how to how to clean them. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this up and see if that looks even. Yeah. I'm pushing this down to make sure there's no air bubbles. And I'm going to, just like the cameos, they have the color background and then everything else is either white or cream colored. So I'm going to use our white. This is our chalk paste, chalk in paste form. And it's like the perfect consistency to work with these silk screen transfers. Now these are, a lot of people would call them stencils, but we call them transfers. They truly are a stencil, but they're not like you typically think of a stencil where everything's open. Wherever you can see the orange underneath here, there is a fine mesh screen. So that allows us to get the detail. You couldn't get this detail with a standard stencil that's, you know, that's open. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of our paste. Hi, Jackie. I haven't Jackie. Seen Jackie in a while. Yeah. Did you ever get to sleep last night or did you just stay up? <laughs> hey, she said good afternoon. Good so afternoon. Apparently she's up and that's the important mm -hmm. part. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw her posting last night. Okay. So I am just taking this paste and I'm using my squeegee. Got some chunky stuff in there, but that's okay. And I'm just dragging it over this screen. So that it goes through the screen and onto the surface. You two are feeling the spring, aren't you? Okay. These and two then, dogs are getting a little rambunctious today. And then I'm going to scrape off the excess. And there's some chunky there. And it's okay if it looks a little rustic too. So I'm scraping off the extra and sticking it back in my jar. And making sure I have all those areas covered. Okay, now, oops, get that corner. Okay, so you're ready for this magic. This is the ooh and ah part. Not shock and awe, but maybe. Okay, so this is peel and reveal and squeal time. Okay. Yeah, I think it's about a couple hours. Well, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off. Look at that. Oops, dropped it. Is that not pretty? You can't do that with a stencil. And you really can't do that with a Cricut. Okay, so I'm going to stick this down on a dish drying mat and spray it with water. So that paste stays damp, and I'm gonna I'm going to dry this with my dryer, and I can see I did pull I did peel up just a little bit of that paint. But it will not won't be a problem. This is for. So there's a bear uh, dollar tree had those wood patterns and so it says no eggs, no bubbles. Really? No eggs, nothing. Well, keep checking because there, I know ours is always getting in new stuff. There were several weeks where I went and they didn't have any and then boom, they have them. And I don't know if you, if I don't know about you, but 
it seems like there's a gazillion Dollar Trees. So if you happen to live close, close-ish to more than one of them, try looking at a different one because they do all kind of carry different things. Okay, so that's the base. It kind of, I think it kind of looks like a basket. Now I'm going to get our bunny patterns. These are so cute. These are, this is an exciting thing. If you are one of our club members, which is our monthly subscription uh, program, if you are one of our club members, this transfer is 50% off in the month of March. So that is a great deal. But it's for sale for anybody. But if you want it 50% off, you could become a club member. If you want to know more about that, you can you can type club in the comments and you'll get sent a link with more information and I'll follow up with you. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these apart so they're a little easier to work with. And I'm going to do the floral. I'm going to do the floral bunny and I'm going to do the tall one because I used the bigger egg. If you ended up using that smaller egg, like I showed you from Hobby Lobby, you could do the same thing, but you could use the, the bunny that's kind of squatting down. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there, and I'm going to get this. This is also brand new, so I'm going to fuzz it. Ooh, that does feel very sticky. And I remember I told you, I, I can see I started to peel some paint off there. So I want to make sure I get quite a bit of fuzz on this. Hello, so your, Mindy. Teresa says, see yes, you. three of them and no luck. Oh, well, keep trying, although it's getting kind of late. You know, Jackie, what do you have there? Do you have any... What do you store Dollar like, Tree type They store? don't have Dollar Tree, but I mean, do they have any oh, kind of I stores don't... like that? Do you even know what a Dollar Tree is? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a misnomer now because it's uh, most oh. of them are turning into Dollar Twenty Five trees. Well, okay. That would be a pound, a pound, a pound store, pound store, <laughs> pound and a pence. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of line this up right along the bottom. So it's like he's sitting in the basket. Okay. And let me see. Does that? I think that looks good. Okay. So I feel something chunky. Yeah, right that, could, that could be frustrating, Teresa. She says it makes her mad because she bought the transfer in February. Oh. Open for him. And well, how close are you to a Hobby Lobby? Okay. I don't know why that has fuzz i don't know i got because you got, just fuzzed it that's no why not it fuzz. fuzz it's it's got like piece chunky stuff i think chunkies it's got chunky stuff you have to run that wood your, fiber yeah these are dryer. yeah this is our fuzzing cloth nothing magical about it other than it's the pretty couture teal um but this is what we this is what i use to fuzz you could just use a towel you could use a t-shirt you could use anything that that has a little bit of lint to it not a lot of lint but okay so i'm going to push that down how am i doing on time okay same thing with the white <laughs> buck and a quarter tree <laughs> uh cindy wheeler hi cindy she said, good afternoon she must be on the east coast somewhere or something like that Dollar General has eggs last time she oh, do was they? there, okay. Mindy said. Um, I I mean, there's, you might try like Michael's. Of course, you're not going to get them for a dollar. But again, with the paste, with the squeegee, just go over that transfer, over that screen, scrape off the excess. We call it five quarter tree. Five quarter tree. <laughs> Okay. Jackie and says nothing like. Oh wait, okay. hold on. Are going over? Okay, he's got to go over the top. Okay. There you go. Watch, watch it. That looks like a psychedelic, uh, a psychedelic kind of <laughs> Kind of does. Okay, there we go. So there is. Sixties and seventies. Yeah. Now. Central time. 
Now, does that not look like a cameo look with the white on the with the background? Okay, well, we're not done with it yet. We're gonna do something. We're gonna do something. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just drying this to make sure I don't smudge it. Hello, Helen. Um, our paste. I wanted to tell you, it is. It's water based, so it cleans up with water. But once it's dry, it's smudge and budge proof. So when it's dry. I can rub my hand over it and it doesn't it doesn't flake off like chalk. So it's it's pretty awesome. And if you put it on like a chalkboard surface or something that is um, uh, not permeable, um, you can you can actually scrape it off and clean it off with the board eraser and reuse your surface okay so there i've got my bunny now i've got i've got these little half round beads i don't know if you've ever seen them they are like round wooden beads but they're sliced in half so we're going to i pre-painted these white so you didn't have to watch me do that so i pre-painted these white and i like to do that on i take a, like a piece of painter's tape or masking tape and i double it over and and that way I can paint it and they're not rolling around and I'm not trying to hold it in my fingers. Okay, and before I get too far, I'm going to spray that transfer so I can clean it up easier. Okay, so I am just going to glue these on. And let's see, I'm going to start. Maybe I'm going to start. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start. Start about there. Absolutely. Mindy asked, can you um, can you do an ombre style thing with different colors with the chalk? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. In fact, I haven't done that for a while. I may have to do that in one of my lives. So yeah. if you're interested in what we're doing, we do lives um, Three or four times a week. almost every day. Every day if we can. We were actually getting ready we went downstairs last night to do our live at six and i got a, a notice that i had completely forgot about a meeting that we have uh every every tuesday night it's like oh we've got to go okay so and i'm going to just eyeball it i would ordinarily put one up there but there's that that's where the hole is so i'm not going to mess with that so i'm going to kind of go i'm going to eyeball about halfway between there and there. So Mindy says the old 70s baskets we had were different colors. I remember that. Oh, yes. Uh, which she would that love would to be see cute. an ombre live. Well, that'll okay. happen. Okay, that'll I, happen. Will, I will do that. Okay, and about halfway. So just, just to be clear, I didn't know you were going to do this. <laughs> what? That you didn't... I put something around the edge. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go half again, half again. Yeah, poor Jackie, she can't even get chalk paste there. I know, someday, Jackie. It'll happen. Someday, I'm going to, when we go to, when we start selling to the UK, I am going to hit you up and you're going to become my first designer in the UK. Is that and a you deal? Can blow up the UK with and Yes, and you can be you can be in on the ground floor. I have all these strings. I will pick them off later. So you're just doing up the edge like I'm just going up the, and it yeah. I'm just kind of eyeballing. Again, I'm not I'm not putting one there because that's where my hole is. That's where I'm gonna put my string to hang. And I'm going to say this just because it's happened in the past. Some people are struggling with, uh, with, um, I can't think of the words, but when the words come across your screen and it blocks Oh, the, 
Closed caption? Yeah, closed caption. Remember to get rid of the closed captioning if you're not sure. Upper right hand corner on your screen should be three dots. You click on those three dots and you scroll down and it'll say turn off closed captioning. That'll turn off the words that are going across your screen. So just yes. to remind people. Yeah, we had somebody who, she wasn't complaining, but she was saying, I can't see what craft you're doing because there's words the closed caption words and that's not something we set up that's something in your settings so you can turn that off and jackie says deal okay awesome i'm gonna start praying <laughs> and i may end up putting a bow on it I don't know. I will probably won't. I didn't pull out any ribbon, so I won't be doing a bow during this live, but. Okay. Woo! Pop it. Okay, so I don't know. This, to me, this just looks more and more like a cameo. Do you get that vibe? Does everybody get that vibe? Cameo vibe. Okay. And you know what? Just I I think it's gonna well, I don't know. Let me see. What if I put two? Yeah, I'll do that. I have them. I have them painted. One there, there, there we go. And you can't see all these little fine threads, but I can. Hey, okay. then I thought, let's bling it up a little bit. I don't know if you have seen these at the Dollar Tree. These are um, stick on stick on uh, jewels so that's like there's a little pearl in the middle and then it's surrounded by some rhinestones and I thought that would look pretty just right across the top there so this should all just peel off and it's sticky back so I don't need to glue it I'm going to put that right there there we go we've got a little bit of bling a little bit of bling going on what do you think kind of looks like the basket and let's put let's put a hanger so i've got some ribbon you could do jute or twine it came with twine but i have some ribbon that's kind of that peach color so i'm going to get a little bit of it off and I'm going to string this. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use my little pokey tool. Pokey tool, pokey, that's that. The that's pokey that tool. Technical name. Yep. I'm going to wrap that around like that. And then I've got some beads. Let me trim these. I've got some beads we're going to stick on. And I pre-painted these two. I, I painted my beads on this skewer so, so they don't roll all over creation. And do I have time to show you my two? I do. Okay. So here's my trick for stringing beads. You don't have a beading needle. You just take some tape. And you... Tape it up like the little the little ending on your shoe shoelace, and it it works as a needle, and then you cut it off. Let's see. Jackie said you have the Amazon. Mindy says mentioning prayer for selling in the UK reminded me. I want to tell you how nice it is to be amongst brothers and sisters. Yes. And Jackie. Oh, uh, Cheryl said yeah. It's a no. bummer. That Amazon, but it's still shipping is yeah incredibly expensive, amazingly expensive to be honest. Yeah, 
Okay, so I've got I've got some beads at the top and tie this off and then I will trim that and then so I've got I've got my hanger. So oh he's not he's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. Not paying attention. So there you there we have it. Hold that up in front of you. We gotta see the beads on top. There we, there, you go. there we go. So you can kind of see that bling there. That you know, optional. You it could, you sparkle. could, you could put some beads all the way across. Hey, does, that, does that stuff bend? In other words, could it go around the bottom of the egg as well? Yes. Well, I mean, no. Would it arc? Not. It, it, it would arc this way. But it won't. But this it won't, way, but not. That. I mean, it yeah, it might, right but corner. you could cut them apart, but. It'd be a anyway. bit of work. Okay, so that's my cute little craft. So I do have, looks like I have about four minutes. I'm gonna, I would be remiss if I didn't show you how to clean our transfers. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick because it's not hard. So I'm gonna spray it with water. Remember our, our paste is water soluble. And I'm going to start either with a paper towel or this is a uh, Swedish dish cloth. So it's, it's like a reusable paper towel. And I'm just gonna get that initial paste off, that top layer of paste. Okay, and you can see I got most of it. Now I'm gonna switch over to my board eraser, which is, we sell this in our shop. It's like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals because you don't wanna use chemicals on these. But we, you use this and it pulls off all the rest of that paste. Your goal is to get the paste out of the screen because that's where the magic happens. And then turn it over and get the paste out of there. I know what that stuff is. That's, that's uh, Spanish moss crumbles. <laughs> uh, Teresa said, is that the big plaid or the mini? That's the mini buffalo plaid. Now, if you are interested in the supplies that I used, you can type, what did I say? Bunnies? Bunny? I believe so. What does it say in the comment? Bunny? If you comment bunny, you will get a link to the supplies. It, sh it has the mini buffalo plaid transfer. It has the bunny cutout transfer. It has, um, I don't think I put any paste in it because I figured you could pick your own. I think maybe I put white in. Okay, so that's clean. I'm gonna let it air dry and then I'll put it back on its little backer sheet and I'll be good to go for the next time. Okay, so, and don't forget the bunny transfer is 50% off in the month of March for club members. So you might, this might be a good time to join club. If you wanna find out more about that, comment club and I'll get you the information. So I think, I am just about out of time, and I know we have a fun crafter coming up next on Craft Around the Clock. So thank you for those of you that joined us from that site. And I'm going to I'm going to pose with my my cameo bunny. And we will see you. Blah, 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 blah. Please feel free to follow our page so you can see all the crafts we do and when we go live. And I promise somebody I will do the ombre. And so be watching for that soon. Okay, so thanks for what thanks for sticking with us and we will see you later. Bye-bye.